Which you guys today we're taking a look at the ultimate windows 11 utility which you can use for optimization and other types of maintenance on your windows system so let's go ahead and take a look at windows 11 manager now it's not a free program but they do offer a trial which you can download and have a look at to see whether it's got everything you want it's got an optimizer cleaner customization security network and other miscellaneous uh, utilities built into this actual program it's packed with features which i'll show you in this video the price of it is 24.69 which isn't too bad for the amount of features that you're getting inside of this program so this is it here windows 11 manager and uh, this one's just received an update and i'll go through here and i'll show you exactly what we've got here in this program so starting off at the information part you can see we've got system restore system information hardware monitor process manager event viewer repair center one click cleaner and optimization but before we continue i just want to have a quick word from today's video sponsor cd key sales if you're looking to buy a windows 10 pro or windows 11 pro oem key then check out the links in the video description you can use my promo code capital b capital r 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30 percent discount and all of your purchases once you submit your order they will send you the product key so you can then use it okay so back to the windows 11 manager software let's take a look here so always advisable to create a restore point before you do anything but the system information here does have all the system information for that pc it will give you the main board which is your motherboard your bios and you can see here cpu memory drive uh, disk benchmark you can do a bunch of stuff just in this alone so this is a very powerful tool which has all the information you can pull out the microsoft product key from here as well and you can even do uh, some sort of hot fixes and event logs and look at those if you're trying to troubleshoot something with your pc moving on to the hardware monitor here click on this one and this will give you a hardware monitor of all the hardware in your system like the cpu under load you can see here and you can see the generic hard disk and the memory and other stuff like that inside that section you can have this starting up with windows if you want to but that is basically the hardware monitor i'm going to skip through these pretty quickly so i'm going to have a look at the process monitor next and this is very similar to the microsoft uh, process monitor which uh, they have in their toolkit so you can see here this one works exactly the same way you can find processes that you want to kill the process of blacklist block or you can find malware that might be running on the system where you can put that to sleep by suspending it and then also finding it and deleting it. You can do a lot of things with uh, programs just like this one here. You can right click on a process, as you can see, suspend, priority, and all that sort of good stuff inside the process monitor. Very powerful tool. Event Viewer will show you all of the events that are happening on your computer. Some of the ones that may be causing problems will be listed up here so you can troubleshoot and fix those error messages so you can go in here and do a little bit more delving into what's happening with your computer with some of the errors that are showing up here and you can query these on the internet as well next up we're going to go to the repair center which gives you heaps of tools to repair windows you can see here under the system repair section we have windows file protection also we have component store corruption also system components and you can run uh, fixes on these by just clicking on them and it will run a fix on that system as you can see here i'm just going to run a quick scan on the windows file protection here when you click on it you'll see a little black command prompt box open here you can push continue and it will run a check on your system and try to fix it under the system repair we do have also reset windows updates with a nice little feature added in here you can click on this one we also have a system restore Gen, uh, general troubleshooting we also have windows installer msi and also some other ones on here as well under this section here we have another section of system repair which allows us to do a bunch of different uh, fixes inside here and on the fourth tab we've got another system repair section where we can fix a bunch of common problems here under the miscellaneous repair we've got some and also windows apps as well which has a reset or re-register the windows store i'll just show you how this works we can click on this and it will re-register -re the windows store if you're having issues with that particular problem and it will fix it for you no searching on the internet for a fix you just run this and hopefully that will fix and resolve your problem we also have reset all the windows apps you can reset those as well 
So a lot of these tools are built in and this is going to be very useful for people that are trying to fix Windows and you can even do some other troubleshooting with this program. So we have Event Viewer here, which I've shown you already. This will take you to this location here, but you've got Unlock System, File Association, Context Menu, Icon Repair, Network Problems and other troubleshooting programs built into this as well. You've got your one-click cleaner, which you can then go in here and run this and it will clean all of your computer just like some of them programs you can download off the internet with this one it's all built in to one piece of software which is very useful you can clean up your privacy history and also invalid startup items invalid uh, scheduled tasks invalid services and junk file cleanup registry cleanup as you can see here registry defragged may not uh, may need a restart it says that if you check mark that it will just go through and do all these for you and uh, once that's done, you've just uh, cleaned up your system with that one click cleanup. Also, we have a, an optimization wizard here. When you click on this, this will open up the optimization wizard, which you can go through and do a bunch of different optimizations in one fell swoop. You can see here process manager and you can go through and click next and it will go through at a bunch of stages here. And once you've done this, you can run it and it will automatically do this for you. You can see here Windows updates. It'll go through and check all this stuff for you and sort it all out in one go. So very, very useful uh, to have on the system. I'm just going to skip through these here. You can see tweaks for the system. You can check mark what you like here. And uh, once you run it, it will take care of all that for you. It also has some SSD uh, tweaks on here as well, which you might be interested in if you're into optimizing your SSD to increase the lifespan of your SSD. And uh, again, we're moving on to the smart uninstaller and also smart startup uh, manager there. Going into the optimizer section, we're only on tab two. And as you can see, it's packed with also loads of features inside here as well. So remember, this is all in one program. So it's quite useful to have all of these. And that's the system speed. And we also have the startup manager, task uh, scheduler manager. And we also have this section here, which is for your startup manager. So you can remove all your startup programs right here and just go inside here and add them or remove them. And we also have other sections here like cleaner, and this will give you disk analyzer, a component store cleaner, a windows apps, uninstaller, junk file cleaner, registry cleaner, a bunch of different areas here, which you can go into manually uh, yourself and click on them. So let's go into one of these and we'll just remove one of these apps here so you can see how this works. So for instance, if you wanted to remove, say, this Xbox app, I can click on this and uninstall it. You could also re-register the files on these to make sure they're working correctly. If there's something wrong with it, you can go in here and do that as well. But there is literally so much you can do with this application. I can't go through everything because there's just too much to go through here, as you can see. Custom system, file explorer tweaker. Jump this quick uh, launcher. We also have context menu manager here as well, which you can uh, mess around with. There's a bunch of other stuff as well, which we can take a look at here. We go through the security section. As you can see, loads of security uh, sections here. Privacy uh, protector. You can go here and clean your privacy, IE history, also Microsoft Edge history, uh, Chrome history, and so on. Executed programs, recent documents. Bunches of different stuff in here. Windows prefetch. You can run through here and clear all that out and just run a check on it and it will go ahead and clean all this for you. Very simple and easy to do. So I'm just going to get onto the next one here. Visual customizer. This is for your visual looks like your font and your themes and other color schemes that you might want to add to your setup. So very useful to have this in a program as well. And remember, this is all in one program. So very powerful tool. So I'll quickly skip through some of these here so you can see what's here. So we've got file type icons. You can change all this stuff in here. Your start time and your light theme. So you can change that, your theme to have come on at certain times. In the evening, you can have it set to a dark theme and so on. So here we have a network section, system network, URL manager, Wi-Fi manager, and you can see here network monitor as well, all built into this program. So quite a few options available here. You can set the colors up if you want to for receive data and sent data. So 
if you're monitoring how much is going in and out of your network you can do that here so let's go ahead and take a look at what else we've got here network tools we've got a who is dns lookup ip scanner and port scanner as well inside here very useful let's move on to the next section here which is uh, miscellaneous utilities again my task file splitter registry tools and windows utilities here bunch of different stuff inside here you can mess around with back up your registry and all that good stuff in here it just opens up the registry editor so let me go back here and take a look at the super copy and that is it so a quick look at the windows 11 manager a pretty decent tool if you ask me lots of useful applications all in one program which is quite useful and it doesn't cost a lot of money so unfortunately this one is not free but again the creator have to have some sort of kickback and i suppose that's the way they get their money it does update quite regularly it's updated twice since i installed this uh, and had a little mess around with it so just bear that in mind and that keeps it updated anyway with that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members i really do appreciate the support i shall catch you in the very next video or i'll see you on our discord server for a chat see you in the next one guys bye for now